Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today I'm getting ready for the holidays. I want to get some gifts wrapped and I want the wrapping to be personalized, but I don't really want to actually make the entire wrapping paper myself. So I'm going to do a little cheating. I am going to take some rolls of wrapping paper that I bought. They were each the whopping 97 cents at full price. So we're talking some thin paper here. But that's okay because it had great patterns to do a couple of things with. I'm going to take some of the things that I do in my art journal and actually apply them to this wrapping paper to make the wrapping paper a little more fun, a little more me, and customize it. Well, here's the first wrapping paper I'm going to work with. It has all these fun ho-ho-hos all over it, but it's just white and red. And I want a little bit of that scribbling, journaling kind of vibe. So I'm going to grab a pen that is very juicy and I am just going to loosely sketch around the outlines of the letters. Now this is not precision work, this is not rocket science, and really I think it would work with any pen. I just wanted one that was super juicy and would really stand out. Also too, because this is such cheap thin paper, that I don't want anything that has a really sharp point to it because it will probably end up ripping the paper. Again, <laughs> cheap thin paper, 97 cents a roll. Now I've zoomed in here so you can see that I am purposely not trying to exactly stay on the line because I really want a loose sketchy look to this. That also takes all the pressure off. And the pen that I'm using is called a uh, food, fud, however you pronounce it. I'll have a link to it over on the blog at a colorfuljourney.com for you. Now I have to admit, I kind of wondered if I was going to think this was tedious and that if I would get bored after doing a few of these. And what I found is it was actually kind of relaxing to just mindlessly be tracing around things, didn't have to stay perfectly on the lines with anything. It was really quite enjoyable to fill in a sheet of this. Well, here's the second wrapping paper that I used. Now these Santas, it's on a dark black background and I'm gonna use the same black pen to trace around and do the same kind of technique that I did on the Ho Ho Ho's. Very loose sketching around it, no pressure to be absolutely perfect. Just wanna give Santa a bit of a sketchy scribbly look to it. And as I'm doing this, this is all well and good. And yes, partially off camera, so I apologize. But you know, it's really hard to stay on camera with a big piece of wrapping paper. But anyway, back to the point here. Well, I'd realized after I'd filled a whole bunch of these in with the black sketchy lines that, well, it was just too subtle. And I was feeling the call of the rainbow. I wanted to get some color on here. So that's what I decided I was going to do is put a little bit of rainbow pop onto these Santas. So to get the colors that I want in something that's juicy that I can trace around with and add some sketchy color to, I'm going to use these fine line applicators. Now they come empty and you can fill them with any kind of runny color that you have. I'm going to be using acrylic inks here and I'm shaking them up really, really well. Now the first two colors, the green and the blue, I will tell you went in without any problem. Notice the white paper in the background, it's still white. So I'm going to show you the process here with the yellow. You can put it in dropper by dropper, but that's so inefficient. I just pour it in, but when you pour it in, you never know if it's all going to go in or if some of it's going to spill. Or like this, a giant glob of color <laughs> that was in the bottom of that. Apparently I didn't shake it up as well as I thought. So I'm going to kind of put that in as best I can, smear around the color, at least use it for something. And I'm also going to offer you a word of caution. Now there's a glob thick something in the bottle. If there's something thick like that in the bottle, guess what? It might actually clog up the tip because only things that are really runny will go through a very fine tip. Well, I'm going to live on the edge. I'm going to take the big risk here of leaving that stuff in the yellow bottle. Now, it might clog up on me. It might not. It might work fine today and clog up in three days. Who knows? But I'm going to take that risk. So I've cut a piece of the wrapping paper off with the hope that I'll have a better chance of keeping it on camera here for you. And I'm going to start putting some sketchy color on Santa's. Now I started out just doing the tips there. Of course, the yellow's off camera, so we're just going to call that one an oops. And as I'm doing this, I'm like, no, I want more color than just on the top of his hat. So I'm going to come around and do the bottom part of his hat. And I'm doing the same kind of sketchy thing where I really don't have to stay in the lines. It's actually better if I actually go over the lines because it puts color in different places and helps it stand out. And I found this to be equally meditative and relaxing as using just the pen. But there is one little catch here. 
this thing that I'm using, yes, it has lots of ink flowing out of it, but it actually has um, a tip to it that if I'm not careful, I can actually dig into or scratch the wrapping paper. So I do need to keep a light hand as I'm doing it because it's a fine metal tip on this thing, not some smooth round ballpoint something. And I'm just going to keep going until I've got color on each and every one of the Santas. Well, yeah, this isn't quite enough color for me. This is a little too subdued. I want Santa to be a little bit bolder. So I'm going to come back in with the fine liners and put more color on them. And when I say more color, I mean a lot more color. I'm just going to go all loosey-goosey, mustache, all around the face, all sorts of color all over Santa. He is definitely going to be a lot brighter than he was when he started. And I gotta say, it's an awful lot of fun to just try and make these big, bold swashes of color all around him. And it doesn't matter in the slightest if I'm staying on the lines or not. And so for me, this is a win-win because I've had time to play and have some fun with color. And I also have some very practical wrapping paper done that will definitely look like it came from me once I wrap up these gifts. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play. If you've been enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll know as soon as I have another video out. And if you'd like to see more of what I'm up to, head on over to the blog at acolorfuljourney.com where I've got all sorts of things like a free newsletter with free downloadable Sparks of Artspiration and a free workshop called Permission to Play. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.